in difficult hours that can be seen to our eyes as narrowing, annoying, troubling, frightening, we must remind ourselves that we're not the first ones to walk on that path. Millions on millions of souls already went through very challenging hours, days, weeks, months, years on earth. And every generation had his power to elevate some sparks that were meant to be elevated by them while by elevating those sparks they opened the opportunity for the next generation to uplift their own to rise and to shine and to fulfill their destiny, their mission, and to get to their completion while digging deeper to inner layers of creation in many, many ways. Things that we are confronting with, even though that for us, it seems like our issues might look even silly. Why am I troubled with such tiny things? Why those things are making me feel so bad with myself? Why do I find myself so lost and not able to function and to take care of things that are so basic? But I'll tell you that your soul is coming out to life from an earlier soul, from the soul of your parents. And your soul was part of the soul of your parents as long as you were still in their bodies, inside their spiritual bodies. And when they were still inside their parents' bodies, so your soul was also part of your grandparents' bodies and spiritual bodies. So you have spiritual and physical experiences in different lifetimes, just that today, when you came out to this lifetime, a curtain of forgetfulness separated you from the ancient archive of the eternal memory of your soul. But after 120, in this lifetime, a person comes back to his soul, comes back to his complete spiritual attachment to his root, and he's realizing who he really was. And he becomes the one soul that he is in the nature of his creation. Now we're experiencing our lives as individuals that lives a certain amount of time. But that tiny fraction of time is only a dot or a tiny letter in a long, many, no, many volumes of, of tale, of a novel, of all history from time of creation of this world. So we must remind ourselves while we travel in this temporary world that we are eternal souls and we should not let the things that we go through in time to break our self-esteem and to destroy our confidence and to shake our stability in being honestly and truthfully 
the ones that we are in the nature of our creation. And we must remind ourselves that to shine the light of our souls is our greatest mission of them all. Now, as those souls that came down to another and might be final lifetime, we are still carrying the responsibility for the correction and completion of the root that we came out from means that if you have a spark within you that was inside the soul of King David, so it means that there were certain classes, certain issues, that even King David with all his greatness was not able to complete while he was in that holy body. And, thou, and those missions were sent with his children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, until today, to the next generations, for them to solve. Because like we said, back then, when you were inside the soul of King David, you were King David. And you have memories of participating inside the life of King David as a soul, as a spark in the soul of the great King David. And maybe you were not inside King David. Maybe you were inside of a simple farmer in the generation of Moses. Maybe you were inheriting a piece of land from the promised land in the tribe of Asher, or Zvulun, or Naphtali, or Ephraim, or Menashe. In any case, as part of the souls of Israel, you were definitely inside of Yaakov. So you have in the ancient archives memories from you being a spark in the soul of Yaakov. You were dining and eating with your parents, Yitzchak and Rivka. You met with Rachel and Leah, Zilpa and Bilha. You had children. You inherited the land of Israel, Eretz Canaan. You experienced many great things. You saw Hashem in prophecies. We need to remember that there is no end to the greatness of the souls of Israel. And we must relate ourselves to the truth that the great promise of our Maker will not ever go lost and that there will be no end to the reward and to the blessing that we will enjoy in time of redemption. And it's only a matter of time and not losing hope from hoping, desiring, yearning, and praying for the great redemption to take place in our days. So be happy that you are still until today appointed to take care of the things that your ancestors were not able to accomplish and complete in their days. And you can be the ones to help them to finish their own correction with pride and great success. So be truthful, serious, and dedicated to the truth. So help you, God, and He will help us to accomplish all our goals, to fulfill all our dreams, to correct and to fix and complete everything on the best way that possibly can perform. May Hashem bless us all together as one to rise and shine. Glow and bloom. Amen. Thank you. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e shalom.